All right, great. Uh, so, hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to start this video off with a warm up, and then we're going to go through the three pop songs that we've learned over the past few weeks in class. As a warm up first, let's do the hand and exercise. Now, the hand and exercise is the one where we start on C, we skip a note going up, and play the note we missed, and skip one again. It sounds like this. I break it down real simple. Here's the C position, but what I'm doing is I'm skipping D, and then I'm playing D, skip the next one, up, skip, and up like that. I think you've all done it pretty well, so it's just a kind of a, a reminder. When you get when you get to the top, when you finish, so you've gone kind of up, up the cycle and you, have, and you end up back in C, we're gonna skip one going down, like the same idea, but in reverse order, so watch. There's my top note, G. I'm going to skip the F going down, then play it, skip one, play it, skip one. So the whole thing starts here. Obviously you will do it slower than this, but I'm trying to get through it so you can see where it goes. I would do two octaves. Once you get, once you get here, start with G, go down. Skip one. If you can do one hand, that's absolutely fine. If you can do one hand easily, challenge yourself to try and do two hands. It's entirely up to you. And all the way back down to where you started. Hope that makes sense. Any questions, drop me a comment so I know that you have a question. Okay, next, one of the songs we looked at was Shotgun by George Ezra. Um, I'll show you how it goes. Uh, starts off with a C chord, left hand, and a C chord, right hand. I'm, and I'm leaving an octave space in the middle. G. Oh, sorry, sorry. C. F. A. Then G. Now, when you first start to, to, to learn this, it's important just to figure out what the chords are rather than using both hands. So start with your left hand, C. Move it up to F, up two to A, down one to G. See what I'm doing with my wrist? I'm doing this to show you that chords should be a simple kind of matter of moving the hand and keeping the shape. I see a lot of students who start off with chords and they end up kind of moving one finger at a time. It just slows the process down. So if you make that shape with your hand, like you're holding the ball, move the shape. it easier so anyway that's the start that's the start for shotgun so C there and then it mimics it up top F F A minor A minor G G and if you, if you look at your book the next bit the melody starts uh, four on E Um, so what I, what I recommend doing when you're learning the melody is just f f do it slowly. Do it for like four notes at a time, maybe two bars at a time. Watch the notes and make sure you use the right fingers, okay? And they go together. And one one of the students, one of you guys asked me last time about the uh, the finger pattern for when you go from G, uh, A to G. Watch me, I'll do it real slow. So you've got four, four, three, two, three, two. And then it goes one, two, three, two, three, two. And if you look at the music and that booklet, you'll, you'll see what I mean. The uh, finger numbers match with the notes. So that's kind of the start for George Ezra's Shotgun. Let's now take a look at Seven Years Old, just as a reminder. The good thing about Seven Years Old is the chords are the same four chords throughout the entire song. You've got E minor, G major, C, D, and then back to E major, E, back to E minor. Well, that's, that's the intro so that's kind of one of the three themes within that song that's and so that's your kind of theme one the next theme is the chorus
when you're playing it, really important to follow your fingers. So if you notice, my right hand, start with three. Three, two, two, one, one, over, two, one. Because it puts you in the G position. Now, it makes it easier that way. Um, so that's your, that, that's your chorus. The verse... So this bit is kind of the easiest to play because there's not a lot of shift in your right hand. You're just in G position. Um, all right there. And it's all referenced in your book and it has this, uh, it tells you what fingers and what notes to play. That's your third theme. If you get those three themes, that is the whole song, okay? Um, I know it's kind of a whistle stop crash course in this uh, all these three songs. Uh, next one, let's look at Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. I'll show you the left hand. The left hand kind of mimics the guitar part. Um, I'll do it slowly. A little faster. chords are only, only three chords to, to start. It's E minor, then it's C, D major, and E minor. Now this is the most advanced one we've done so far. What I recommend doing if you do want to have a go at this song is, you know, first learn it bit by bit. First learn the left hand bass line intro. And then learn the first three chords, E minor, C, D, E minor. Right, and th those, th that left hand, right hand pattern go together. On that part, the melodies, melodies actually tend to be quite straightforward to play because it's the bit that sticks in our head so we know how they sound. <coughs> um, and they're only one note at a time. So here's how this one looks up here. And for the left hand, what I do for the left hand is I would just take um, the the chord, which is the chord, which is E minor. You could simply play the chord, starting with E, skip one, skip one. But I like to give it a bit. I, I like to give it a bit more energy when I play, so I go octaves in my left hand. Kind of an, a more advanced way way to do it, but if you want to create a sense of motion. common thing for piano players to do with octaves. So I think I've given you quite a lot there. So you've got the hand warm-ups, you've got shotgun, you've got seven years old, and if you want to challenge yourself on, on living on a prayer, uh, I know one or two of you were, were trying to go through that last, last Wednesday. So I will see you guys and gals again uh, this time, and have a great week. Bye-bye.